Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform repairs safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. A water inlet valve is an electrically controlled component with inlet and outlet water ports and one or more solenoids. When signaled by a control board or timer, the solenoids will open to allow water to enter a washing machine or dishwasher during the fill cycle. The valve is also used on refrigerators to provide water to the ice maker or the water dispenser. Over time, the solenoids can fail or calcium deposits can build up in the valve creating an obstruction. Since inlet valves cannot be easily cleaned or repaired, you should replace a defective valve with a new one. Water inlet valves are usually unique to each appliance type and will often vary depending on the model. You should enter the full model number of your appliance in our website search bar to find the specific inlet valve you need. Before you replace the valve, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply to the appliance. You should shut off the water supply as well. On washing machines, the valve is usually located at the rear of the appliance near the top. You should detach the water inlet lines from the valve ports before disassembling the washer. Be prepared for some water to spill. You will often need to remove the washer's control housing or top panel to access the valve. On refrigerators, the inlet valve can usually be found behind a lower rear access panel. You may need to detach the water supply line before you can remove the access panel. For dishwashers, the inlet valve is often located on the bottom of the appliance near the front. You can reach the component by removing one or more panels. On some dishwashers, it may be easier to fully uninstall the appliance and tip it back to replace the valve. Almost all water inlet valves use a mounting plate and screws to secure the valve to a bracket, panel, or frame. One or more wire connectors will need to be disconnected from the solenoid terminals. For washing machines and dishwashers, the inlet or outlet hoses are usually secured with clamps that will need to be loosened in order to remove the hoses. Inlet valves on dishwashers will often have an elbow fitting that connects the water supply line to the valve and it will need to be unthreaded. For refrigerators and ice machines, the inlet and outlet lines are often inserted directly into the valve. A locking clip may need to be removed and a retaining ring depressed to release the water lines. When installing the new water inlet valve in a refrigerator or ice machine, the inlet and outlet lines should be inserted into the valve ports until fully seated. Secure the lines with the locking clips if applicable. For washing machines and dishwashers, slide the hoses onto the ports and secure with an appropriate clamp. If the dishwasher uses an elbow fitting to connect the water supply line, you should wrap Teflon tape clockwise around the threads of the elbow before threading it into the valve. Connect the wire connector or connectors to the solenoid terminals. Thread the mounting screw or screws to secure the inlet valve to the bracket, panel, or frame. With the new water inlet valve installed, replace any access panels control housing, or covers as necessary. Attach the inlet water lines as required. Turn the water supply back on. Plug the power cord back in 
or restore the power supply, and your appliance should be ready for use.